So this little beauty, this is the um, egghead cat and it's just a way I've found the tie mini lures. Um, just a little bit different, one that works really well for me. So I thought I'd share it. You can, um, you can do this in traditional fly patterns as well, just by changing the changing what you're using for the body, for the wing and the tail, etc. Um, but this one, the cart version, it's an early season fly, but it also works well August through September in the washing line. And it just fishes a little bit higher up in the water because of that yarn. So, yeah, really good fly. And one, I'm sure if you try it, you're going to be disappointed with it. So, let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing I'll do is because this is for the competition boys, I've got a barred hook in here. Um, this is a silver comp special, size 10. Now, I'll finish the fly off a different thread, but this is my, this is just my working thread. It's a it's a thin olive, it doesn't matter what color it is, because all of this is gonna be covered up. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to a point, opposite the barb of the hook, and then, then with a little bit of white marabou. Just a wee pinch there. And what I will do is I'll, I'll trim the end of this first because I want it tiny. Keep all the body the same. So take that down to your point opposite the bar. There. And then in with the this stuff. It's called Ecstasy. This is the, the lime green one. Or chartreuse, I forget which. Wine green, but I'm just going to strip the fibres away for the the core there to expose it, and then just wind up to where you'd have a thorax and a nymph basically. I'll come in, just a quick finish here, just holding this in place. When you're working with this stuff, same as Fritz, it's always best if you can stroke the fibres back in every turn. So just touching turns here, stroking everything back. And I want to get just above the point of the hook where you would have a thorax basically on a, a nymph. So there you go, we'll secure that. A couple of times to secure. And then give myself a little space to work with and try and pull these fibres off. Easier said than done. Fucked. This coming on my craft knife there. And just tidy that area up with some thread wraps. Just come over it a little bit and then create a little taper off it. Like so. Okay. Now I've got this beauty. That's a bright, bright orange cup cape. Um, <clears throat> and I want quite a long feather because I want it to cover the body when it's splayed. So I've got one here prepared. I'm just going to catch that in on my side of the hook shank and come up that taper and down and with your scissors snip that always like a bit quick finish I take my Hackle pliers here. I'm going to just stroke all these fibres back as I turn it, as I turn the, the hackle to make sure that I'm not trapping any. And you're trying to wrap each wrap in front of the previous one. Just to create, you didn't want too much of this actually. Four turns, 
enough so you can see the definition of the, the feather really and that's about it there just come in with your thread up here pull this to an angle and come over it just to lock everything in place a couple of turns I missed that there so a couple of turns again sorry there you go then in and snip and then we need to tidy up tidy this up and stroke the hackle back over the ecstasy stroke everything back so that all the fibres you know stray fibres in front and again just create that taper like so we now got to come in again with the, the ecstasy and again give yourself a clean bit to work with so expose that core there catch him in with a pinch and loop if I can pinch and loop it down to the eye like so and tie that off after you've whipped finished it and then I come in with this bright fire orange a couple of turns and again with this what I'll do is I like to put a, just one whip finish in there so, again with this stuff, we're looking to stroke everything back. You need the fibres to be going one direction, and that's back towards the point of the hook. They can't be facing forward, so this is the tricky bit. Pull everything back. You will get some stray fibres, especially if you've got rough fingers like mine. And then, just take some of this away for the core if you can just to expose the core a little bit because you need to tie that off obviously so that's looking okay for me there if I can come in and just a little pinch and loop there okay like so in with the scissors close as I dare and snip that off stroke your fibres oh. You know what I forgot to do, don't you? This is what happens when you're doing fly time videos, but let's not worry about that. Let's just cut this off here. And then we'll take this out. We forgot the marabou. So, in with the marabou. Again, just another little pinch, roll it in your fingers. So it's nice and smooth. You've got a smooth edge there to work with. A smooth surface area, sorry. And then just come in with a pinching loop. As close to the hackle as you can. Like so. Up at an angle. Cut that. And then, obviously, just nice and smooth taper there and with our our yarn and expose a, a little bit of the core there so that you can take it right up to the, the hackle like so trim this the waist and just give yourself a little single whip finish there so same again, all we're going to do is take this ecstasy, make sure that our fibres are pointing towards the rear of the hook, pulling them back as we go with our thumb and forefinger. Nice and easy. Take your time, take your time and get it right, and you won't forget to put the marabou wing in, like I just did. So again, I want to pull some of these fibres away to expose the core 
it's quite tricky this bit because the fibres are really closely bunched together but if you just take your time and pull it away to expose that core there you can then just a little pinch and loop and get that nice and tight in there couple of wraps so you've exposed that just come up with your scissors snip it away and then just tidy up the head area stroke all your ecstasy back so you've got a clean part of the eye to work with I think that's okay on your side can I really see properly another couple of turns for security and then just whip finish nice and tight a bit like a little muddler head really And with your scissors stroke all all of it back and then with your thumb and forefinger what I like to do is do the tail first so a little bit longer than the hackle and then in with your with the wing like so and then you will add a bit of varnish here pull all the fibres back just a little bit of varnish if you get any in the eye I always have a bit of wire handy just pull it through like so and to get the shape that you're wanting just a little dubbing brush and then just pull those fibres back and smooth it all off like so and here you've got the egghead cart just a so it's just a a really good fly um, works just works and that contrast between the orange and green is fantastic so try it the, the egghead cat again you can use this technique on other flies traditional flies um, I'll put some pictures of that up on my Facebook page so there you go egghead cat try it great fly for the start of the season and like I say it's from sort of August through October um, when the fish are looking to fry a lot higher in the water